So for this first DIY, I was really inspired by this anthropology tray. They have a rectangle and a circle and they're listed for $128. Now, this cost me about 15 bucks. I purchased this piece of wood from Amazon. It was only $5. And then I ordered two handles from Home Depot that I will show you in a second. They were only 10 bucks for both of them. Now the anthropology trays, they're carved and then they are inlaid with the white paint. So you can be really creative with this, but I loosely followed the pattern that anthropology shows for the circle tray. You can use a ruler to make sure that your dots and your circles are aligned. I used a blender bottle just to get the circle shape. Again, really rough draft with the pencil. And then I did use scissors just to make a hole in the center, just to see how I liked doing the inlay wood. Be really careful guys, if you are gonna try to carve the wood, I definitely was not doing the whole thing. Just some of the parts that I really wanted to stick out. And then I just used a white acrylic paint and started to paint them. And then once you're done painting, you can also use a clear coat or a shellac on top of it. That way you can protect it, give it a clear, glossy finish and it'll keep it looking very new and it'll kind of make it look a little bit more expensive like you didn't do this yourself. Now for the handles, you guys can totally use a nail and a drill gun to attach these, but for convenience sake, I'm using an epoxy glue. You have to work pretty fast because this stuff will dry very quickly, but it's super durable. Once these were dry within 10 minutes, I couldn't even move them. So it's very inexpensive to get a couple bucks for a jar. It's all you gotta do is just apply a thin coat, hold them on for a few minutes and they're good to go. Now I like to describe my bedroom as like a well-traveled mermaid's paradise because it has a British West Indies or vintage Hawaiian theme to it, but there's a lot of new and old elements to it. I mix textures, raw elements, beachy elements, but I'm gonna be using these 3M damage-free command hooks, not hooks, wall hangers, to hang this rattan tray basket thing that I got from H&M. These are usually super expensive, like $100. This was 15 bucks. So you can easily attach this to the wall. You can move it. It's not going to damage anything and it looks so cute and creative. I mentioned mixing together textures. I think that's the most easy way to have things not look too staged, very organic. So plants with glass and then like these natural fibers from the rattan baskets, which I purchased on Amazon for 12 bucks. The bottles were things that I had used. One was a tequila bottle and one was an Aquapana water bottle. So placing these things near each other are going to create different dimensions, but still look really cool, clean and unique. Now these porthole mirrors that I have from Target, I got them for $19.99 in a set of three. We'll be using two of them today. They're very well made and I'm gonna be using the 3M wire hiding hooks for this. They're a little bit thicker and more durable, but the picture frame hangers are gonna fit perfectly on these back wooden blocks, which are actually gonna to attach to the wall and keep it more secure. So the chain isn't really holding it up. It's more so just there for a facade to make it look like it's working, but it works out so well. Just make sure that you let the wall hook attach for about an hour before you actually hang the mirror. Now, since you guys can see my vanity, give this video a thumbs up if you want a makeup and vanity tour, but I have the same theme going throughout with the inlaid wood and the kind of more elegant stuff with the gilded mirror, all vintage. And then I have my area for Kyle. He's in the Navy and was stationed in Pearl Harbor. So he fits my aesthetic pretty well. And no, we didn't plan that. But to kind of give you guys a general overview, this is where I get ready. And to make it functional, but still look really cool, this is where our tray comes into place. So I'm just putting all of my setting sprays on there. Again, you could use this as a catch-all area or something to put your jewelry on, but I kind of like how it gives life to these little Vix Plus bottles. Another thing you'll notice is I use natural elements as storage. So I have that large seashell. I also have an abalone shell over there on the right. I like to incorporate those things, make them functional and pretty. Now for this little corner, here's a tip. I like to keep pictures on the floor. It kind of adds a different dimension and creates excitement in areas where there normally wouldn't be. So I don't have a formal linen closet. So I use these baskets to store my blankets, my extra sheets and pillowcases. And then the little one, I either store magazines or I make it a catch-all basket. So basically if I'm in between purses for that month, I will just 
kind of dump whatever's in that purse, go through it later, maybe switch some of it out and use a different purse. But everyone kind of needs like a catch-all space and this is mine and it's hidden and it still looks cute. Also in this corner is where my makeup cube is and I use another one of those palm photos to just kind of distract from the fact that it is a storage area. It just kind of ties in the look together. I also have a baby blue velvet ottoman which makes the room look a little bit more feminine as well as a vintage bamboo chair where I have a 1942 official World War II sweetheart pillow from Pearl Harbor which is very special to me and I keep a mermaid doll and a vintage sailor Cracker Jack doll that Kyle gave me there so as you can see a lot of mermaids a lot of sailors very vintage vibe going on um, but I absolutely love it and it fits my personality now let's talk bedding so I love my peach skin sheets I recently got these they keep you cool in the summertime it has a smart technology and they release different colors different times of the year and I will be definitely stocking up on the next sale so for pillows I like to keep them on the lighter color side for the summertime so I switch them in and out in the winter time they're a lot more dark and blue in the winter I also have the Brimnay's bed, so that is from Ikea, and I have this like little headboard setup. So I have my She Hit Paws prints up there. They're vintage surfer girls. I absolutely love them, and I just love how this has a very surfy, beachy, vintage feel, kind of eclectic, but also very bright. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I like to decorate my room for the summertime. And if you guys try any of these tips or DIYs, I'd love to see them. So make sure you tag me in a photo at Haley Cairo on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more DIYs. We have our back to school series coming with lots of giveaways, DIYs, decor, all kinds of fun things. And I cannot wait for you guys to see them. But as always, I hope you're doing well and I will see you in the next video.